Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video. So today this is going to be a very short video. This is going to be for all of you people that have asked me about my mica flake paste. I am going to show you how to make this for a fraction of the cost. So this is Golden brand gold mica flake paste with says large because the flake gradient that they used was a larger size flake. So this four ounce bottle, which is very tiny. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here is a Lorez pigment. I have you zoomed in so it looks huge right now. So it's not a big bottle of paste. Right now, this little four ounce bottle is going for $17 on Amazon. So I'm going to show you how to make it for much, much cheaper. Now I may have to zoom you out a little bit here because my camera may have a hard time focusing. So what you see in front of you are three swipes of mica paste. Two are homemade, one is not. This one is homemade, but with this one I used matte gel. If you don't know what matte gel is, this is matte gel. It's used in scrapbooking a lot, uh, art journaling. People use it for a glue. They use it for all different things. As a matter of fact, it um, helps retain brush strokes. It extends paint volume. It's used for all different things. You could take acrylic paint and mix it with this to make it thicker. Um, I used it mainly for a glue-like substance when I was art journaling. So I tried it with the matte gel and it worked fine, but the flakes were a little dull. Still, still shiny, but nowhere near as shiny as this one, right? So then I made it with heavy gloss gel this is the one I made with heavy gloss gel, and you can see it's much shinier. Okay? Very similar to the one in the jar. This is the jar. This is homemade. So I'm going to show you how to make it with the super gloss heavy gel. And it's not called super gloss heavy gel. It's called gloss heavy gel. Now this bottle is... $24.99 at Hobby Lobby and it's 473 milliliters. This one here is 118 milliliters. So this is four times the size of this little thing. So you can see how costly this is. 17 bucks or four times the amount for $24. Now, this may work with a glue also. I'm not sure I haven't tested that. But if you want to try it with a glue, you can. You just got to make sure that it is a glue that dries clear. Okay? So, all you need is a surface to mix on. I have my glass cutting mat underneath this piece of wax paper. I'm going to do it on top of the wax paper. You need some sort of mixing device. A palette knife works good for me. You need some mica flakes. Now, I happen to have a ton of mica flakes. You can buy them online. You can buy them just about anywhere. Well, I shouldn't say anywhere. They do sell them in some hobby stores. So what I want to make is a mica flake paste in a color that I don't have already. I already have uh, pearl, which is like silver, and I already have gold. So I'm going to 
pull out my mica flakes here and I have a color that's called rum and it's very actually maybe we'll do this one here midnight midnight is like a black really dark brown really pretty color so all you have to do is scoop out some of your gloss heavy gel and you want to make sure you have an uh, airtight container to put this in put a nice size wad on there and then you want to drop a whole crap ton of mica flakes right on top of it And then don't just pounce in there and have them fly all over the place. Take your time to get it pretty much mixed in first. And then you can start really mixing up. Now, one thing I notice about this is you have to have more mica flakes than paste. Like, if you see a lot of paste... your mixture when it's all mixed up then when it dries you're gonna see some of that paste even though it's transparent you can still see that it, there's a big wad of it so you want to add in a lot of these to make it really really thick okay Sorry about that, I just had to take my paper down because it was driving me insane. So as I was saying, you can try to do this with a regular gel, or not a gel, I'm sorry, a regular glue that dries clear. I have not tried it yet. All I know is that it is a lot cheaper to find some mica and add it or make it yourself than to buy that little tiny jar. All right, so you see how you're still seeing a lot of, of the uh, gel there? I would add just a little bit more. Of course, my wax paper ripped. I probably should have done it on something different. I would get something old that you don't care about and uh, mix it on top of that maybe an old piece of cardboard or something so anyway that's what you're going to do you're just going to mix it up till it's really really thick and then you're going to take it you're going to get some little containers i think i found these at maybe the dollar store Scoop it up, put it in your airtight container, and it will stay good until it's time to use it. Now, what can you use it for, you may ask. I use it for all kinds of things. I use it for art journaling. I use it for my artwork, which I will show you right now, an example. The geode I did yesterday, I used it on the whole outside of the frame so if you haven't seen that video I just posted it uh, last night here's an older one that I did let me come over there and show you so I can make sure you see it good okay so you can do it on the outer edge you can add it into your geo you can use it for the center of your geode if you want put a little mound there let it dry for a day or two and you're good to go you can make your lines with it you can do so many things with it you just have to get creative use your mind to get creative 
it'll come to you eventually. So anyway, that's my short video for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you don't want to make this stuff, but you want to buy it, I will link it in the video below. And um, that's about it. I hope you all have a great night and happy pouring.